that we found underneath a Lebanese house in a Shia village only a couple of kilometers from our border. This bunker was ready for Radwan forces, for a battalion of Radwan forces to enter into this bunker and do a raid into Israel and do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. They were planned with the motorcycles here to go to Kiryat Shmona, to Iftach, to villages and uh, positions inside Israel and conduct a massacre. They were only here a couple of days ago. In those beds with those weapons here, we found the fresh coffee and food here in this compound, underneath the Lebanese village, underneath the Shia house. This wasn't supposed to be here. 1701 should have prevented it. We need to impose a 1701, a fully imposed 1701, this area, so Hezbollah can never be next to our border with such infrastructure that can do a conquer Galilee plan like he planned. Hassan Asala, this ruthless terrorist that we eliminated, that is responsible for the deaths of many people, not just Israelis, Germans, Americans, French, and others. The world is a better place without Hezbollah. The world is a better place without Nasrallah. Nasrallah sought, he understand Israel. He was wrong and he was eliminated. And all our enemies should know, whether they are close or far away in Iran, they should know that we are determined. We are determined to supply security and safety to our citizens. We have only two missions, to bring our citizens back home next to the border in safety and security, and to bring back home 101 hostages that are being held in ruthless conditions in Gaza.